So today I've got what they call a swarm trap that's been in a tree for uh, all probably coming up on a year. So I need to remove that and probably needs to be moved to a different location. It was not successful last season. So uh, come along with me and you can see me hopefully not fall off of a ladder. This is uh, my swarm trap I put up last season. And uh, I baited it with lemongrass oil. They say that works. Um, this season I'm gonna try a different product called Swarm Commander. And also I did some more research and this is facing to the northwest. And everything I read said it should be facing pretty much the opposite direction. So I'm going to take it down, clean it up, and then probably put it at a different location altogether. I've got uh, some other empty beehives that I can use on our property here. So this is a little bit bigger than a five frame nuke, as you can tell. It's, uh, it has these special frames that I built for this specific purpose. So these are probably like two medium fr size frames. And uh, I've got some old comb down in here. Just found this in a uh, house we were doing a remodel on. Found a lot of a lot of comb in a wall of an old kind of a garage type thing. So what I'm going to do is take this up to the uh, shop and clean it out, and I think I'm going to put a more permanent. Um, fixture to hang it off the side that L thing's okay but I think I'm gonna just make a bracket put a spacer in here put a spacer in there and then just bring a uh, like a one by four up maybe this far maybe a foot on top and then maybe like six inches on the bottom so I can just screw right through there and then screw right through the bottom so it's always hooked right to the box so we'll see hopefully this one will catch us a swarm this year and we'll have some free bees if you'd like to see more videos like these, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Schrader Tree Farm. Hey, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.